Hello, my name is Jenny Kikani. I'd like to thank you first of all for purchasing this video. I'd like to thank um, all the members of uh, Sistema Jogjakarta Indonesia. I'd like to thank all the students of Sistema Hong Kong. And uh, during the course of this video, you'll see a few drills, you'll see a few exercises that will help make your practice of Sistema better. Or if you're starting as a beginner, we'll give you an idea of which way to go. Um, as such, if you have any questions, please contact either myself or the people at Sistema Jogjakarta. And uh, happy viewing. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. So I'm going to push Danny's legs down. No, uh, they can't touch the ground. And you bring it back up. So let them that go down as much as you can. Don't touch the ground, bring it back up. Yes. Find something he doesn't like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over him. And I don't mean jump over him, I mean relax, go in, and I get down, I relax. I don't have to just fall asleep on top of my partner, but just find a way to go to the ground and roll soft. Understand? All the way down. Don't try to get the floor, okay? Don't try to reach the floor. Just, this is exactly as if you would wake up in the morning and stretch, okay? So, Relax. Ah. I start here. I just relax, okay? And I start to roll. I start to roll slowly, heavy. The back. He's getting fat. Pretty much. The back. And when you get to when you get to the partner's head, okay? It's not your job to be careful for his head. It's his, it's his job. Okay, so you just keep rolling on this head. You're going to find all the various ways you can go through there. Find every possible way you can go through, under, over, any combination is possible. Doesn't matter. If I touch something that's painful or whatever, I want my partner to breathe faster, okay? The breathing is basically the vehicle that comes and gets the pain and takes it away. I used to start by stepping on the feet, and what you're doing is you're relaxing the muscles, and you're promoting blood circulation. You want to always keep the contact with your partner, okay? If you find a tense spot, okay? Work a little bit slower on it, but the idea is to relax it. As you're in your push-up, I want you to see everything you can relax. You're going to need this because if your partner's in the push-up, what you're going to be doing with your partner is very simple. I have to annoy my partner. I have to find a way to make him move. He takes the movement, he reacts to it, and he resumes his original position. You're going to walk around the floor in the push-up. As everybody's walking in the push-up, okay? You can move around the room and push in. Find a way. There's other people. Everybody can push everybody. Move in the push-up. Points. But just before the partner falls, find another way. Far, far, far. Just as soon as you feel he's going to fall, bring him back up. Can't bring him back up. You want to see how far you can mess up your spine 
before you hit the ground. Okay? There's, there's, uh, I'm in an awkward position, and then there's, I'm falling. You're falling, you're falling. Okay? But see how long you can stretch that awkward position. See what you can do as far back as possible. I think you've been able to see what the difference is between moving, twisting, and everything. Let's bring it down just to our hand, okay? My partner's going to twist my hand any way he wants. Aikido like stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Aikido. You know, like all these wrist locks and everything, whichever you want, okay? First thing is important to see, okay? Which way is the direction going? It's going here, it's going here. All of it. Because what's important to remember is, and I was saying this yesterday at Kakra, okay? When you twist the joint, as far as you can twist it, what happens is the tension is going to go to the other one, and then the other one, and then finally to your spine. So, what you need to do is follow this. Don't go against it. All you're going to do is you're going to play against yourself. Okay? It's very important that you don't stop to do your thing. Keep going, keep moving. Find every possible way to grab, to move, to escape from your partner. Okay? On the move. Very important. All this grabbing and escaping okay, should be in order two and three. Priority one, keep moving. Why? Your movement is 70% of your movement. If you stop moving, you're still targeted. If anybody's ever gone hunting, okay, if you're trying to shoot a duck and it's going up like this, you're not going to shoot here. You're going to shoot here. You're going to follow its movement. So don't be a standing target. Be a mover. Your partner's walking too, and you're pushing him with punches. You're looking to place everything, and like I said before, he's going to work, he doesn't care. Make sure you follow the partner, follow his movement, push him with punches. Don't stop moving. Partner grabs, partner escapes, punch, punch, whatever. Make sure that whatever you do, your movement, your walking is your top priority. I'm going to follow his movement and find something. Whatever it is, okay? I'm going to find his movement, follow his movement, whatever he wants to give me. I'm going to make sure he's happy and just continue with that. It doesn't matter. It's not important because whatever he's giving me is basically movement coming to me. I want to hear what he's telling me, okay? Now he's telling me he wants to hurt my beautiful face. <laughs> so I follow it and I move at the same time, okay? Whatever he gives you, it's a conversation. Listen to what he's saying and follow. Use your hands like this, use your hands like this, use them, I don't care, okay? But whatever your partner gives you, okay, use your hands as a last minute thing. Use your movement, use your legs. The hands should be secondary. fists, then he's basically giving me the movement I need. That's all it is. Okay? So always remember, okay, we all did this as kids. So when the movement comes to you, just think of this. You already know how to do it. When you were three or four years old or five or six, you were doing this. Using 
using arms, hands, you're not using any. Okay? My partner is going, my partner is using his hands. My partner is using his punches. Okay? I'm leaving my hands here and I'm going to respond to whatever he gives me with my leg. I'm not using my arms. I'm using what he's giving me. And remember when I was saying take the movement with your body? And if you take the movement with your body and your hands and you keep contact, you can then turn that into strikes. The same applies for your legs. And your legs are going to be moving anyway. So might as well use them. Okay? So partner comes in, <coughs> boom, boom, boom. It comes back to what we were doing with the chair yesterday. Trying to, I'm not trying to kick my honey, I'm just trying to walk into it. He comes in here and something, oh, I walk in, oh, okay, that's something. Ah. So use everything, don't get stuck in place. Let the partner come in. Let me do the same, let him have it. So, what I'm going to do with my partner is I'm going to start to wrestle, okay? And, and this wrestling, we're not trying to do UFC stuff or anything. I'm just trying to work and take down his movement, and he's trying to take mine, okay? So he comes in, okay? I follow his movement, and then he takes mine. Move. When you're wrestling, guys, there's no fancy technique. All you have to do is whatever you do, keep moving. If you're moving, you're doing something right. <laughs> With your partner, you're going to have this stick in hand, okay? And what I want you to do is place the stick on your shoulder. As much as possible, try to keep your back straight. And then move around the room with your partner. Of course, the stick has to stay. Move around the room, listen to what your partner says. If you're doing a rush, this is what will happen. My partner and I are going to take the stick and we're going to hold it here. So now you're going to get even clearer signals as to when your partner wants to. And of course, the idea is to not drop the stick off. So as my partner is moving, now I'm actually working with feeling his tension, feeling what he's doing. Of course, if I, he's going to know. Same thing if he comes towards me, or if I decide to turn, he's going to keep that tension in the stick. So the idea here is to keep the stick exactly how it is, and work and move with it. Okay? I'm going to keep the stick on my partner's shoulder, or wherever my partner is. I'm not going to hold the stick tight, I'm going to allow the stick free movement. Okay? Yeah. What my partner is going to do is he's going to move around the stick. Right. Okay? So our hands should be basically a big square if you look from the top. Okay? Now, the stick is going to be in the middle. Okay? You can let go. Okay? And then, all I'm doing is I'm playing with the stick. I'm still not using my hands. Okay? Once in a while, I send it to my partner. He works exactly the same way. Arms, chest, forearms. And when he's ready, he sends it to me. I play with it again. Move around. Back to him. Look at what's on my shoulder right now. A stick. stick, right? So you're going to work exactly the same way with your partner. <coughs> Basically, keep around the stick. You're using the stick. You're still using the stick. It doesn't matter. And if you want to use the stick vertically, 
can do it, okay? But let your partner grab you, okay? And as soon as you, as soon as you feel that tension on your shoulders, it's obviously a stick, okay? If I do this, my partner can move with the stick exactly the same way as he did before. We're going to see how I can put kicks, and you're, you're still playing with the stick. Don't look to strike, just see where your hands go. Don't look to strike, just see where your hands go. And placing fists on my partner, I don't want to place the just looking like this, okay? I want to move around him, just place my fists everywhere. We're doing this for placement. We're not doing this right now to punch. And we're doing this also to keep our arms, body, and everything relaxed when we're punching, okay? And when you're punching, okay, don't move, okay? Think of giving your partner something, okay? If I want to give Danny this like, he probably already has one. If I want to give Danny this slider, am I going to take the rider and give it to him? No. Your punches should be the same. Should be just normal, casual movement. Think of giving your partner something. Here you go. Okay? But for now, just work on not looking at your partner, placing fists. Okay? And make sure yourself, okay, that when you're placing, you're not tense. We're going to warm up our body to taking hits to taking punches, okay? So what I'm going to do with my partner, my partner is going to be against the wall, and all he's going to do is relax, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to lean on him, and I want to go up and down, placing fists on his body. He relaxes. And when I'm done, I go back up. That's what I like. What you're going to do is you're going to make a fist on your partner's stomach. Your partner's going to make a fist as well. Hold the other hand like this, okay? Keep the shoulders relaxed. We're going to do from 1 to 10 and from 10 to 1, okay? So by 1 to 10, I mean you place here, wind back, 1, 2, now it starts to go in like this. So Danny hits here and then it's here. Okay? So it's gonna be like this. We're starting one. One. Okay? And hit. Don't be afraid to hit. And this way up to ten, and this way back down to one. I want you to understand how your punches can modify your partner's structure. Okay? I'm not gonna hit as hard. Okay? When the punch goes in. Yeah. When the punch goes in, see how you're breaking. I'm not hitting him, okay? I'm just making him move. He gives me movement. <laughs> I'm looking to see what I can do with his structure. Start with this. Start with this. And then, if your partner's okay with it, hit a little bit harder. Don't start right away. Blah, 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 blah. Start and see how you can make him fold. And... As, as, as you make him fold, as he grabs you, as he makes you move, okay? You make him fold, okay? Oh, anyway, you make him fold, and then, as he gives you movement, you start to increase a little bit more, and see how now he's very aware of what's gonna happen. And then, finally, let him go harder, and you go harder. <laughs> the, the, the thing about it is, guys, and, and this is starting to get into what I was saying about hiding what you're doing. Grandma, okay? Stop, stop. Okay? Come, come closer, guys. His focus is on me, is on here. His hands are busy. His hands are hiding my hands. Okay? So, so keep that in mind. And like I said, start slow. Start by seeing how you can change your partner's form. Keep everything under. And then eventually, start to hit harder. If you want to, go to the ground. Keep on tracing yourself. Trace yourself everywhere as you're moving with the knife. 
back up, keep going, switch, all around, trace yourself with the knife. You're gonna move around your partner and you're gonna place the knife and much like we did with the fist yesterday, you wanna let the partner move. But, but don't move more than you okay? If I'm pushing you here, you don't have to do a 360. Just let me. And keep in mind, okay, it's the same kind of work as what we were doing with this. Following where the knife is going, what you're doing. Make sure you're moving. One important thing about a knife fight, okay, if somebody comes at you with a knife and you're not protecting your family, your girlfriend, whatever, you know what you do? Give them your wallet or run, okay? I challenge anybody to look up on Google knife wounds, knife cuts. Look at the pictures that are there. You know you can search on Google with images? That will completely take your idea away from wanting to be a hero if you don't have to. If you do have to deal with somebody that has this in their hands, get a chair, get a stick, get a rock, put something between you and them. Don't be a hero if you don't have to. Control the hand and work with it, okay? Um, <clears throat> there's another way, which is basically to get rid of the knife. When the knife comes in, move and get the hand with the knife as far away from you as possible. So when the knife comes, it doesn't matter where it is, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Move, follow the movement, but get rid of the hand first, okay? Don't try to block or to get rid of it, because if he pulls the knife back, what happens? Okay? Always think of this. It should be in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay? So if movement comes in, get rid of it. No matter what it is, get rid of it. <laughs> so as soon as the knife comes, get rid of it. As soon as he arrives to you, hit and run. <laughs> so let him come in and work with your movement guys it comes in move see how you can get rid of it not come in boom comes in follows get rid of it so so what we did in the previous classes moving the arms follow the movement make it one movement not one two three four it comes in follow get rid Understand? Well, one thing, guys, be honest about this work, okay? If, no, no, no. If, you're moving your partner, if you're making your partner move, okay, don't just touch him with the knife. Make sure he has to move. Make sure he has to move because if he's not used to moving, when this is a real knife, he won't move more. But the knife will keep moving. So make sure he moves. Okay, now we've worked on moving with the knife, okay? So when you move, take it away. But now, follow in, okay? So he comes in, go in and see how you can get in and hit. Get in and see how you can get in and hit. So first thing, move, get rid of the knife, go in there. There's no precise punch or kick that you have to do. Just remember, he wants you dead. <laughs> so get rid of the knife and get into it. See what I mean? <coughs> Let him in and then go and go hard. Remember, he's got a knife. He wants to kill you. This is the point, this is the time where you stop being nice with the knife. Okay? So my partner, I'm going to stab him, I'm going to hit him, I'm not going to want to make a hole in it, but this kind of work, if you like it, if it's pleasant, you're not doing it right. Okay? So I want to develop the reflex in my partner's body that as soon as he feels something, to jump off. And the only way to make him jump off is to make him jump. Okay? So, normally, normally, you work slow, okay? 
Now I want you to really make the partner move in the sense that... <laughs> See what I mean? When you're coming to your partner, okay, make it as realistic as possible. I'll give you another short one, don't worry, okay? It's going to hurt you more than me. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. Right, right, okay? So so when you feel this, okay, it'll be too late. It'll be too late. So maybe start less than this, but don't go easy. Poke. It's either you learn to react from this, or you end up like this. <laughs> the initial uh, should jump you into action, okay? <laughs> so, so when you get that, uh, start to move, start to use what we just did. And once again, slowly. Whether you're controlling or whether, okay, or when you, make sure the partner is overwhelmed. If the partner gives you one, give him 500. <laughs> you, you see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He should not, like, if when you start to go back, okay, he has the knife in hand, he shouldn't even be thinking about his knife. He should be thinking, oh shit, I'm getting all this, and I have to stand up because I'm advancing on the partner. What we're going to be working on is really working to see with their bodies. So a lot of the work that we're going to do today is going to be with our eyes closed. Okay. Main reason for this is because let's say, uh, just, just as an example, let's say Rick, we're in a bar or something and Ray grabs me by the back to let's say take me out or something. Right here, am I going to think, hmm, I think somebody's grabbing me back. Uh, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to work and react right away. Okay. Next drill. My partner is going to walk everywhere in the room. Okay? He can he can walk in the room, he can go to the ground, he can uh, yeah, he can do push-ups, he can do everything. Okay? My job is to keep contact with the partner. But 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 I have to keep contact with the partner with my eyes closed. So you can use either or hands, okay? They can be anywhere on the partner. It doesn't matter. Keep your back straight. Whoops. Keep your back straight. <laughs> okay. Keep your back straight. And just basically keep a contact on the partner. He can go anywhere he wants, do anything he wants. So you're keeping contact with the partner. The partner doesn't care, okay? And and don't keep contact with the partner like he's gonna fall off, or like you're gonna fall off. Contact can be as light as you want, okay? Either hand, anywhere, okay? He doesn't care what I do. He does his thing. My job is to keep up with him with my eyes closed. The first thing we need to understand is the, the, the idea of personal distance, okay? We all have this kind of, I'm not gonna say invisible bubble, but what personal space, okay? If I'm talking to my partner here and we're having a conversation, everything's fine. If I'm talking to my partner here and we're having this, unless, okay, there are exceptions. If you're in a bar, there's loud music yeah, yeah. and you can't hear what you, you know. It's a case by case thing. If you're in the subway and everybody's crowded, packed together, the personal space kind of shrinks a lot, okay? So, what my partner is going to do is he's going to walk towards me. Okay? If I don't move, he's going to get into my personal space as much as possible. Okay? But what I want to do is when he comes in, okay, as soon as I feel he's in my personal space too much, I get out of the way. So when my partner comes now, what I'm going to start to do is have my hands ready. Okay? And this doesn't mean no. Okay? I'll come back to that later. Okay? <coughs> when my partner walks to me, okay? I'm doing don't no, no, no. I'm doing I'm doing the same thing, but now I'm starting to fix my clothes. Or I'm starting to bring my hands up. If you look at videos of my teacher Emmanuel, 
Hi, Benny. Um, <laughs> you'll always see him fixing his pants, fixing his shirt, okay? But why, okay? Because what happens is, if I'm not sure, my hands are already ready, okay? My hands are already here, they're already ready to go, and I'm just fixing my clothes, okay? Let the partner walk in. The minute you feel he's in nothing, okay? What are you doing, okay? You're bringing your hands up, it's okay. And you're, you're, you're setting a distance. You're, you're basically stopping him right there. Setting up boundaries. Huh? Setting up boundaries. Yeah. I'm not saying, you know, that if he comes in, you're going to look good and then he's going to stop that. <laughs> but if he comes in, okay, okay, that's enough. You know, set, set your personal space. Define your personal space. So your partner comes in, wants to bang And just try to move but try to stay in, okay? And bring your hands up, but try to stay here, don't go back. Start, okay, before before we bring the hands in, okay? Start slowly and just take the movement he's giving you, okay? And try various ways, one hand, two hands, push. Try to make it as normal as it is whenever you have a situation. Let him stick and just keep it. Don't do anything yet, okay? But just kind of what we did before, remove yourself from the danger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place a finger on my partner. Then I'm going to place it somewhere else. Then I'm going to place it somewhere else. When a fly lands on you, how do you get rid of it? Mosquito. Okay? So with your partner, you're going to put a finger on your partner. And you have to do exactly the same normal gesture. Imagine it's a fly. That's it. How you would get rid of a fly or a mosquito. Yeah. Your hands are close to you. When I talk about short work, his movement is longer than mine. I'm just getting rid of a mosquito. That's all it is. And if I want to add to this short 